Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Now, um, there's been a bit of talk recently about uh, magnetic loop antennas at the club and on the air. A couple of people have made them, um, so I just thought, well, I would have a quick crack at a mag loop antenna. Now, there is the uh, vacuum cap in a box that I showed you the other day. Now, what I've done just for tuning or playing around with the matching of the loop is I've temporarily, uh, there's a BNC socket sticking out each side of this box, and what I've done is I've just put a, a little uh, hose clamp around uh, a copper tube to hold it against the, uh, put the copper tube over the BNC socket and then just screwed it up. Um, I know you're going to say, well, the BNC socket's got a couple of little prongs on it that are used for locating BNC plugs, perhaps, not surprisingly. And you won't be getting a very good connection, and I am aware of that. Um, this is only, I only need a, uh, an electrical connection to um, actually tune it and match it. Um, I'll cut some slots in the end of that and uh, get it to uh, get the hose clamps to tighten the copper tube down onto the BNC sockets firmly. Um, afterwards, that won't make any difference to the uh, uh, to the tuning. And um, the uh, capacitor in the box does need to work with another loop that is actually made of coaxial cable that's got BNC plugs on it. So that's the way I'm going to. That's why they're staying on there, and that's why it's mated like that. So it's not the uh, not the best way of doing it. If I was if I was going to make this loop um, a permanent thing, I probably would have put uh, cable glands here, and then run the tube through the cable gland, lock the cable gland off, and then uh, you know wire the capacitor up inside. But uh, as I say, this is just a bit of fun, just to see what sort of matching we can get with a, a mag loop. Now. Um, I'm only going to try the uh, toroidal matching today. I'm not going to try the single loop of wire through the toroid of, of, of coax. I'm not going to try gamma match or anything else. I'm just going to try this toroidal match. Um, now this loop here, it's uh, I went to the local hardware store, which in Australia is called Bunnings, and they sell what they call um, what do they call it now. It's a coil of um, basically it's a it's a three meter I think it's just called three meters copper line. They're obviously used to selling it to moonshiners in the United States. So you get three meters of copper line um, in a polythene bag for about 20 bucks, 19 bucks, something like that. So I got that, bought it home and undid it. So from end to end, that loop is three meters. Those of you that know anything about math will know that means it's approximately a meter in diameter. <laughs> Okay, now let's have a look at the matching arrangement. Now I went to our local electronics store a little while ago and I bought I bought some ferrite cores. That's one size there. Now that's another size. That's another size there. And that's another size there. Let's just put them in order. You can see the sizes. There we go. That's the three sizes of ferrite cores that uh, JCAR do. Um, I've used the middle one here. Uh, sorry, is that the middle one? Is that the small one? Yeah, that's the middle one. The middle, the middle one here uh, to wind up a little matching uh, matching transformer in the past. So that is exactly the same core. It's just not out of that not out of that packet because uh, I've, I've bought some before. And I've made another uh, transformer with one of those, and that's, that's that one there, okay? That's that one there. Now, as you can see, with the, uh, this little one here, which is one of the uh, middle-sized cores, I've got a few turns on it. You can probably see what we've got there. Just a few turns around there, and we follow that coaxial cable. It goes to an antenna analyzer, and that is showing us the match. And there's the match. The match is 2.3. SWI is 2.3 to 1, and the impedance is 20 ohms. Okay. Now, I was up at the uh, the Hills Radio Club yesterday, and um, one of the Focus, will you? 
one of the guys up there said, oh yeah, I've, uh, I've been doing some experiments with a mag loop. And I've got a couple of matching transformers that I made. I was, actually, I was talking to him on the radio on Friday, I think. I'll bring them along, and you're welcome to borrow them and try them. Uh, one of them is no good, it won't tune, and the other one um, is fine. So I thought, yeah, okay, great, thanks very much. And he said, just the results you get with them. So this is one I made. And uh, we'll just try, just try the two that um, belong to um, uh, Martin VK6ZMS. So I'm just going to pause the, uh, I'll just pause the recording while I, while I change the transformer because it's a bit, of, bit, it's a bit tedious, and I'm sure you don't want to see that. I won't be a tick. Okay, here we are, back again. Now I've, uh, I've replaced my small transformer. That one there with uh, one of Martin's. Now this is the one that Martin said was no good at all on his loop. Now you probably see that's uh, that is one of the uh, that's one of the middle size uh, J car cores. And there's a few turns around that. You can probably see what sort of wire he's got around there. Unlike myself, he hasn't used enameled wire. He's used just insulated wire. Um, so it's not really close wound as such, but uh, the result is pretty much identical. Have an SWR of 2.3 to 1, an impedance of 19 ohms. Okay, so that's how uh, that's how that transformer works, coupling transformer. Now it um, um, it's very very close to. In fact, it's identical, isn't it, to what I got with my little coupling transformer there. So that's a smaller core, a similar amount of windings. So it's uh, it's starting to look like um, something with more windings is going to do the trick. A few more turns is required. OK, so now I'm just going to pause it again. And I'm going to fit... Now, this, this may very well... Although on my loop, um, this uh, this device at Martin's is giving a 2.3 SWR at 19 ohms. On his loop, it may very well be giving an SWR of one and an impedance of 50 ohms, um, because the impedance of his loop may be different to mine. If the size of the loop's different, the impedance will be different. So if his loop's uh, not identical to this, um, then the result he'll get on his loop won't be the same as this. So. It, it may very well be that this is absolutely perfect for uh, uh, for Martin's loop. Okay, now with that, I'll uh, I'll take that one off, and I'll put the white cord um, matching transformer on. So I'll just pause it again. Okay, now I've fitted the uh, the white core matching transformer. Um, it's pretty much identical to the previous one, apart from the colour of the core, the amount of turns, uh, gauge of the wire, um, it's insulated wire. Um, comes around there. Tuning was very slightly different, and uh, just optimised it for 7093 as I did the other one. And what do we have? 2.3 SWR, and the impedance is 19 ohms. So there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Is that focused on that? Okay. Focus, come on. That's uh, 2.3 SWR, 2.3 to 1, impedance, 19 ohms. So it's exactly the same as the other one, mine. Exactly the same as the exactly the same as the black core, that one. And there's the difference between the two we've tried already, and they both give the same results. Uh, SWR 2.3. 19 ohms. You can see this one's large, the larger in diameter core, the mid-sized, uh, the mid-sized core here. This one, uh, sorry, this one is the larger diameter, which is the uh, larger core. Then you've got the mid-sized core, which is that one there. That's not as good a fit. Mm. So if I make these, sorry about that. <laughs> High five of breakfast. If you heard that. Okay. So um, I will in future use this size core because it's just so easy to slip over the copper pipe. Um, and I might even rewind it with some one mil, um, my one, with uh, some one mil building wire, just to see what the difference is. But 
um, both this this one here and this one here are giving exactly the same result on my uh, on my loop. I say that may be very different on Martin's loop, but uh, on my loop, they're producing exactly the same uh, exactly the same result. Okay, well I'll pause that and then I'll fit the one I made up uh, earlier today. The one I uh, prepared earlier. Okay, and now here's the one I wound up um, earlier today. Now, because I looked at the others and I thought, okay, uh, it's pre presenting a pretty, uh, pretty low impedance there, I thought, well, I'll try with more turns. So I actually put... Um, uh, more turns on here than you can see at the moment, and then I just took them off until I got uh, until I got a good match. So you can see what sort of fit the toroid is on the copper pipe there, and uh, follow that feed around. Here we go to the antenna analyzer. As you can see, it's a narrower tune, but you can also see that match. It's one. SWR is one. Impedance is 50 ohms, so that is a, a perfect match. Um, I'd be uh, be very happy to put my uh, FT857, uh, connect my FT857 to that, no problem at all. Um, so it seems that uh, you can get cores. I haven't actually transmitted any energy through it yet, so we'll see how it goes when I do that. But it seems at this stage, certainly, that you can go down the road to the local electronics store, buy some cores that are going to be absolutely fine for this, and um, it's just a case of uh, putting the right amount of turns on. I think on here I've got what? How many turns have I got on there? One, two, three. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't quite see. There's either eight or nine on there. Um, so you might want to start with ten, and uh, then just take a turn off. If you don't get uh, if you don't get your fifty ohms, but you certainly uh, certainly do the impedance matching with the amount of turns that are on there. And uh, once you've done that, get the right amount of turns. You can couple whatever the impedance of your loop is. Um, to 50 ohms, your 50 ohm catch your line, and uh, you're in business. So, uh, okay, I hope you found that interesting or useful or both. There you go, there's the other three, all next to each other, all giving exactly the same result SWR, SWR of 2.3 to 1 and uh, an impedance of 19 ohms. I think that's quite interesting. And uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you next time. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll make a video of uh, me actually using this mag loop and see if I can get any good contacts on it. Um, I, as I said, I might rewind this now that I know that uh, the sort of wire doesn't really matter because if you look at that, you know you've got the close mount enamel wire on that one, and you've got building wire or you know power supply wire on those two. Made no difference whatsoever. So I may rewind this with building wire, one mil building wire, um, because that can take a bit more current, and, uh, and fire my uh, FT857 in, into it at um, 100 watts. Once I've got the match with the building wire, looking like that, and um, I'll record uh, I'll record me using it, having a couple of QSOs with it, and we could see what sort of results we get with it. Um, okay, well I hope you found that interesting. As always, many thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.